In this video, I'll explain the concept of isotopic abundance and how to calculate the average mass of an element. Let's take carbon for example. Carbon has an atomic number of 6, which means it has 6 protons in the nucleus. To find the number of neutrons, we are told to round the atomic mass and then subtract it from the atomic number. But if both protons and neutrons roughly have a mass of one atomic unit, why are we rounding? Shouldn't the mass of carbon equal 12 atomic units, one for each proton and neutron? Well, the atomic mass of an element is the average mass of that element, and not all carbon atoms are created equal. We have two stable isotopes of carbon, carbon-12 and carbon-13. An isotope is simply an element with the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. Carbon-13 has 7 neutrons, not 6, and so has a mass of 13 atomic units. To find the average mass, we can't simply add the mass of each and divide by 2. The atomic mass of carbon is not 12.5. This is because we do not find carbon-12 and carbon-13 in equal proportions in nature. Let's zoom out for a larger sample size. This is isotopic abundance, the proportion of each isotope found in nature. For every 100 carbon atoms, we find only one carbon-13 atom. Let's find the average of all these atoms by adding the masses of all 99 carbon-12 atoms and 1 carbon-13 atoms. Then, we'll divide by 100, the total number of atoms. When we do that, we get that magic number 12.01, seen on your periodic table.